Hello, today I'm going to try to teach you guys how to network between different boxes in order to establish a connection within the DMQ layers of the uh, eGamer software. Uh, this is obviously uh, the network connection uh, thing from Windows showing uh, Spike C23, which is our, our node here. And then the remote node here is Spike L60. You gotta get this all working, network discovery and all that stuff. It's kind of out of the scope for me to try to teach you how to do that stuff. Make sure that all works. If that works, then uh, the underlying uh, software that we're gonna install is gonna work just fine. All right? Okay, give me a minute now. The current configuration we have installed on Spike uh, C23, that's node, our, home, our host node, is we've got all 19 games installed. We got both dealers installed. And we are also running all the players in this node, okay? Now we can talk about distributing parts of the server programs across several nodes and dealers and stuff like that. But let's just try to keep it simple for now. Because when you start talking about that, then it kind of gets it kind of gets questionable about what, what you want to call the host node versus the, the client nodes and stuff like that. So let's just try to keep it simple. We're going to keep all the server programs on one node, okay? And we're going to call that the host node. So we're going to make Spike C23, we're going to consider that to be a host node. And we're going to consider Spike L60 to be a remote node. And the thing is, what I'm trying to, uh, what I'm trying to explain here is that this is going to be like, like let's say you have a, a corporation, like Coca-Cola Corporation. It's got a website, you know where it is. And other people can go in, uh, Coca-Cola doesn't have to know about the people that access its website. But he, he has to know where he is, okay? But the clients, they have to know where, where, how, to, how to get to Coca-Cola, but Coca-Cola doesn't have to know about the clients, okay? So we're going to do the same thing. This is going to be like our host node, Spike C23. It's going to be our host node. So when, when we configure DMQ, we're not even going to have to configure anything for any, anything else. But the remote nodes, we're going to have to configure DMQ to know about Spike C23. That's one good thing about uh, DMQ software. You don't have to configure all the remotes that are going to attach to you. The remotes just have to know where the hosts are, and that's all you have to do. We're going to configure it that way, all right? All right, so I'm still working on box spike C23, which is going to be our host node. And I'm going to try to pull up uh, the deck message queue configuration file that we're going to have to edit. Um, we're not going to have to edit on, on this box here, but I'm just going to show, show you what it looks like, okay? We're actually going to edit it on L60 because L60, he's the remote, right? He's the remote. He's the host. We're on the host. We don't have to configure anything for the remotes. But I want to show you what, what the configuration on this node is anyway. Because you can pre-configure it if you want to. And uh, we're also going to just learn where, where this thing is at, okay? Uh, if you follow the standard install, it's, it's in one place. Uh... We have, yeah, shoot. <laughs> file, okay. Go double click this PC. Go to the C drive. Go to the folder called DMQ. Um, right there, there's going to be a file right here. DMQ underscore init underscore. Bus ID underscore group ID. Our bus is 4000. Our group is 523. That's going to be the name of this file here. It's a uh, it's dot, dot txt is the extension on this guy. Okay, let's double click him. And um, here's what he looks like. Um... It's got, don't worry about what's in here. Just scroll down here to a section here where it says percent X group. That stands for cross group. And you can see we already have some stuff, some stuff in here pre-configured. We didn't actually need any of this stuff in here. The only thing we actually needed was our, our, uh, our self node here, which was uh, Spike C23. And I can see that this is, that's, that's the node name. <laughs> That's the uh, the the group ID number, and this is and this is the box name. 
So the box name and the, the um, DMQ has got something called a group name. So you got a group name and a group number, and that's the box name. That's how these work, okay? So, um, yeah, it's, I'm not sure actually why it's in here twice. It, it's okay to have it in here twice. Um, I'm not going to change this at all. I just want to show you what this looked like. The reason I'm showing you this is, uh, remember, <laughs> remember, ooh, okay. Remember when I was showing you yesterday the DMQ monitor and the BA MFQ monitor here? Right here, monitor. And we'll go ahead and uh, connect to um, to our our, um, our group control process, which is bus four thousand group five two three. Our group control process for that. We'll connect to it. And um, hang, on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I got. I just got a classic here. I haven't seen this in a while, boy. I used to dream about this one. You get a negative two forty six here. That means something's wrong with DMQ, and uh, what's the matter? I didn't start it. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and start DMQ up in this area. We'll go away, all right? Uh, okay. Uh, to start DMQ, we want to go to the... Um, uh, oh, where are we? Uh, documents. Uh, testing. Remember this one? Uh, zero, start DMQ, run as admin. You right-click, run as admin... And it's, it's going to bring up the, the group control process icon down here. This is not the group control process icon. That's the, that's the monitor icon. The group control process icon looks similar. But we want to uh, get it to go. We want to have to get that going here. Oh, got this little shield here. I, my, my sound's off. That's why you didn't hear that. So there it is there. No, it is not. No, sorry about that. Okay, here you go. Um... It brought up this this thing here, and it's gonna it's look it's it, it tries to determine previous um, previously uh, run running process. That's what it's doing up here, and then it it, um, it tells you that you can terminate this window when you see the red icon down here. Remember, here's the red icon, All right? So we can terminate this window, and that means DMQ should be up. Let me just restart this from scratch here. Um, mm, monitor attached to bus four thousand group five twenty three. Okay. Oh, I see it worked that time. Okay. Oh, there's some good old DMQ coverage. Yeah, I saw that negative two forty six here a million fucking times over the years. I swear to God. All right. Uh, so you want to hit view link information um, traffic counts. And just wanted to show you, the reason that, that these are even shown here at all is because these are listed in our in our configuration file. So again, we didn't have to list these at all, but they were there, and so it's showing them. Okay. Now, um, the one that we're actually going to be uh, talking to isn't even listed. It's going to be uh, group um, group five sixty for our our uh, remote node over here, which is Spike L sixty. Okay. All right. Give me a second now. Okay, this is Spike L60. I'm not, it's not going to look show up that well. I'm going to try to find that same file over here. Um, the file explorer window. This PC. C drive. DMQ. And this right here. Let me double click this. And um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'm doing this handheld now, okay? <laughs> I'm gonna copy the copy and paste these lines, and then I'm gonna change the group uh, when I copy it back to Spike C23, Group 523. All right, I'm gonna do this twice, and I'll show you what it's like. Give me a minute here. Okay, I'm back in the handheld mode, but uh, um, I added this line. I copied this line here, and I pasted it back here. And I changed it to C23, 523, C23. Same thing here. I copied this line, pasted it back here, and changed to C23, 523, right there, okay? 
All right, I've saved that file. And now I'm going to go ahead and start DMQ on, on, this, on this box over here. This, this is, we're back to, um, this is back to uh, our, our host. This is 523. But over on the other one over here, I'm going to go ahead and start DMQ up on it. You know, using our, our testing menu. Zero start DMQ runners admin. 